Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Look where I am. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at that. So I made it down to the ocean. So let's walk around this place and check it out. And today's words for today's lesson are going to be rise and arise. Sorry guys, the sun is in my eyes a little bit. There we go, there we go. I found some shade, all this back up a little bit. So I'm down here at the beach or near the beach. Um, so first let's talk about the word rise. So we have rose, rise and rising verb. They can be changed and this one's easy because it's just a difference in height or in elevation or in level, right? So I can say, the ocean is rising, the ocean rose, the ocean will rise. Um, so I use it to sort of talk about um, something moving from a lower level to a higher level. All right. So that one's fairly easy to understand. That one's not too bad. But when we talk about arise, it gets a little bit more complicated. All right. So let's talk about the word arise. Okay. Arise is a situational verb, so we use it when something happens. Uh, it has nothing to do with changing levels. We use it when something comes up, something happens, an opportunity, something changes in the situation. That's when we use the verb arise. So we have arisen, arise, and arising. Okay. Um, so you will hear people say arisen. It's not very, very common, but people do use it. And what they're trying to tell you is that there's a change in situation. Okay. So I might say to somebody, uh, you know, a meeting has arisen and I can't come to uh, help you, meaning the situation changed for me. All right. Or I could say, um, you know, uh, there's a situation arising and I'm not able to uh, attend the meeting something like that. So we use it in a situation and that's a difference So uh, to rise is a change in level and to arise is a change in the situation. They're both verbs Okay, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the tour around this place I'll put the name in the ch in the video. So I was gonna say in the chat I'll put the name of this place in the video because I can't remember <laughs> Or I can't say it properly, but I'll flash it up on the screen so you guys know where I am. I'm still in Fukuoka. I just can't remember the name of this beach. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, got some, some slow motion volleyball in there for you guys. It was pretty cool. All right. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. I've always admired those who just do it and they conquered their fears. They fall back down and they keep getting up and they try to